welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thanks so much for joining me. Now in today's video I wanted to talk about changing karma and we're going to look at changing karma through the use of intention, will and optimism. I may not go into the mechanics of how in this video, we're going to stay a little bit high level. I'm going to take you through some quotes of some different people that's really going to give you some food for thought at a high level. So we might go into some how type discussion in later videos, but in this one, we're just going to keep it a bit high level. This one's just to get you thinking. So recently, my mum actually, she watched this documentary about Edgar Casey. Now, many of us would know Edgar Casey. He is the famous... Gosh, what, I mean, what profession would you say he is? I think he was a famous, I'd say psychic. Uh, he came up with predictions. I mean, he wasn't just one thing. I think he, he was just this amazing figure in history. How about we call him that? And uh, she was telling me how he would go under hypnosis and he could actually see and read and interpret astrological charts while he was under hypnosis. He knew the language of astrology. He knew it very well. He understood it. And among many other things, I mean, this was a brilliant man, um, but he knew astrology. And one of the things that he had said when he came out of, I think it was a very deep hypnosis session, was he explained that nothing is written in stone. He explained that the system of astrology is wonderful and it's very useful. Uh, you know, and, and it's very accurate. So that's really interesting that he, he came out of that session saying, look, this is a brilliant system. But having said that, nothing is written in stone. That's amazing. That in itself is just incredible. And that's something that has caused me to pause and really reflect and think nothing, not a single thing, is written in stone. That's a kind of statement that you want to meditate on, that you want to sit down and you want it to slow down your thinking and you want to just go there and explore. Nothing, nothing is written in stone. I mean, that means that everything is malleable, right? Everything can be changed. If nothing is written in stone, do, well, does that mean, does that therefore mean that everything can be changed? And that's what we're going to explore as we keep going because you're going to hear another couple of quotes that will give you other ideas. Uh, so he discovered that nothing is written in stone. He also discovered that you can change your life with intention, will, and optimism. And that is fantastic. Intention is such a key word in my life. Uh, I see intention as, as you kind of lining yourself up before you shoot and go forward. You know, it's that, it's that turning mechanism. It's that, okay, which direction do I really want to go in? Uh, and it reminds me of that quote, funnily enough, from The Office. Um, was his name Gareth Keenan? You know, the main guy in The Office, the British version of The Office. I haven't seen the American one, but I've heard it's really brilliant. But in the British version, the main guy says that, you know, I'd rather be at the bottom of a ladder that I want to climb than halfway up one that I don't want to climb. And to me, that's a thing of intention. That is a thing of, okay, where do I want to, where do I want to be? Because I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to push the button, I'm, I'm going to launch my arrow or I'm going to fly hard and fast and I really want to make sure that I'm lined up, that I'm lined up really well. So to me, that's very much what intention is all about. And that's why, say, for example, an astrological reading can be very helpful because if you're unsure of what direction you want to go in, because say, for example, and I've met people like this, and I have worked with people like this. They are too talented. They've got too many things going on. 
And that always fascinates me when, you know, you're working with like a person who's a surgeon and a writer and a, an artist and a genius and a teacher and a this and a that. And it, like they're 10 different things and they're going, well, what, what do I do? I could be brilliant to any one of these. Well, you could, but you have actually come here to do something more with with a couple of these than all of them, you know. Um, and it's finding that thing. So an astrologer can definitely help you here in this area of intention. Uh, when we look at will, yeah, will is something I think we really need to develop on our own actually and, um, and, and coaching and that kind of thing can help a huge amount there. And I know that from having studied the human aura and energy field, um, definitely a, a big will center is our, our throat area. And it's also the, the uh, energy, the, the chakras at, at the back. They're big will centers, you know, and the energy pushes us forward. That's coming from those, um, those energetic centers uh, of, of the auric field. And, of course, optimism, you know. Thich Nhat Hanh, he, he's a great one for this. He talks about, you know, our smile you know, is our joy the source of our smile or is our smile the source of our joy? I think he's got a really uh, great way of looking at that. I'm pretty sure that's his quote where he talks about smile being the source of the joy. You can look that up. He's a good one to go to, though, for optimism. I always think so. So, yeah, I mean, Edgar Casey, terrific couple of things to think about here, the fact that nothing is written in stone. Then, of course, we go to Yogananda. Okay, now Yogananda has a quote where he says, 75% of life is guided by past karma. So he's kind of saying that 75% of life is written and 25% is guided by free will. Now, I remember when I first came to that statement and I just thought, no, nah, come on, it's got to be more like 50 50. You know, I was really disappointed by this notion of 25% of life is guided by free will. I thought, you're joking. No way. It's got to be 50-50. I've listened to too much, you know, Abraham Hicks, Tony Robbins, Law of Attraction, Secret. I mean, it's more like 100%. Do you know what I mean? Like, how much is free will, really, realistically? Um, and in a previous video I did about working the echo, that you are this sound, you know, that moment of time when you were born and the echo just keeps emanating through all of time, you know, for 80 years or however long you live, 100 years, whatever it is. You know, the echo just keeps emanating and growing and getting bigger. Um, so I've kind of got this idea and that, that kind of matches with this concept of 75% of your life is guided by karma, that it is this echo that just, just keeps repeating and possibly expanding or growing or becoming more of you um, yeah and that and that figure of 25 percent I, I remember it being disappointing but the more I've studied astrology the more I've discovered that actually I think that 25 percent is very generous and I've studied so many charts now and I I'm thinking, you know, if you're if you're utilizing 20% of your free will very, very effectively, you are doing an extremely good job. I, I even see 25% now as, as uh, a very generous figure. I think if you're using 25% 20 of free will brilliantly, you're doing an exceptional job. That's what I'm seeing. And, and it's really interesting when you look at charts and you match up the life and you see, because I'm looking as well at your potential and how does that match up with how you're living your life does it match up that is a really interesting question and there there is one chart of someone that I've seen so well there's a couple of opposite ends of the scale so I've seen there's one person that I can think of who has a great chart but they're being quite a bit of a couch potato uh, I'm allowed to say that, uh, you know, because I know this person very well and I know they probably won't watch this video. <laughs> Handy. <laughs> but um, And then there's the other end of the spectrum where I know someone who is like she has, I think, done better than her stars. 
Um, she's done a superb job of, of, of handling the, the deck that she's been dealt, uh, if you want to put it that way. Are we dealt this set of stars or do we choose it? That could be another video as well. I find that topic thoroughly fascinating. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I wanted to raise on this point. Now that's something that you can meditate on. Is 75% of your life guided by past karma? Is 25% guided by free will? How do you feel about these figures? Where are you on all of this? And the final point <clears throat> that I wanted to bring up was, now this is the best quote, and, and this I think really shows a, a progression of, of thinking. So we had Ed Edgar Casey saying, nothing is written in stone. Then we've got this concept of, all right, we've got 75% is determined by the past. We've got 25% free will. And now we've got this beautiful statement by a Jyotish guru who once famously said, why are you Westerners so interested in changing your destiny when it is so hard to live up to it? Wow. That's, that's really something to reflect on and think about, I think. I love this because this kind of, this, this, this takes that 25% and says that, look, you're, you're grateful to have 1%. That's how I'm kind of seeing it. It's kind of like, are you even living up to it? Your, your chart is here and are you even living up to it? Are you even coming close to what you could be? That fascinates me because, I'll read it again. Why are you Westerners so interested in changing your destiny when it is so hard to live up to it? Wow, I think that's amazing because that really appeals to me now, having studied Jyotish as much as I have, having studied astrology as much as I have, having looked into this. I mean, I remember when I was newer to this subject and 25% seemed really cheap and the more I go into this subject I am so grateful to have 1% of free will it's it's really really interesting and it's the kind of thing that you know this needs to be looked at you know are you interested in changing your destiny or are you interested in in living up to the potential of what you've chosen because let's say you come to me for a reading and I can see certain things in your chart and I say wow you've got healing gifts are you living up to that are you using them are you getting them out into the world or are you thinking I need to earn money first and then I can do that you know what I mean so it's like there are lots of things to look at when it comes to astrology so many things to look at and I could talk all day about this topic and and these quotes but I just wanted to share those quotes to get you thinking to get you thinking about um you know karma and and how much free will you have uh, and of course if you would like to have a look at your chart then please do let me know uh and if any of this sparked some thoughts or ideas in your mind, please feel free to share them in the comments below. I would love to know how you found some of this content. So subscribe if you haven't already. And I really look forward to catching up with you the next time. Thanks for stopping by.